So the real strength of the ambassador program is being able to harness the talents from a lot of different people, a lot of different backgrounds, and put them all towards one goal. You have to work really closely together. Sometimes you'll be the one modeling, sometimes you'll be the one behind the camera, you might be holding a light, whatever it is. Uh, it's all about the dynamic of the individuals together, which just means that you really learn a lot about each other, and through that process, you really bond and kind of get closer together as far as your friendships. So we all met through social media. Um, I had reached out to William Drum initially and he connected me with Joe Placco. Um, and then I, I met Dave Woods, Chris Ogenicki, and I thought it would be a, a great idea to, to kind of bring us all together and collaborate on projects here on Vancouver Island. Photography is pretty darn big with social media. Everyone nowadays seems to be very, you know, just quickly look at something and then on to the next thing. If you have some really striking, uh, you know, artwork or something like that, then you know it at least stops them for that little bit of time. Like, whoa, look at that! And then they want to know what might be the best gear for them to use in these environments. You have to make sure that you've got a quality product in order to sell a quality product. You can't get away selling, uh, you know, very expensive and good quality dive gear with very poor quality images. So you have to think first and then you have to control the lighting in order to make sure that the quality comes through with the image. I'm able to watch and see these visions of how, how they see what they're looking at and watch this moment of them taking that photo and then I'm able to look at the photo after and be like, whoa, that's how you saw it? And it's just, they're, they're so different. You can have the, the six divers, six photographers, the exact same dive, but what they get is so drastically different. And I love that I get to be a part of that opportunity of seeing how they do it. And a lot of times I get to be in it and I'm so grateful. The only stressful thing is trying to line up everyone's schedules to, to make sure that we can do this all at the same, same time. So that's kind of my, my role in this, is I, I, I arrange the dates, I plan the charters, I got the tanks, I got the lead, I got all the gear ready for the guys, and I was kind of, you know, wrangling them each morning, you know, waking Bill up to get him out of bed, to get, <laughs> to get to the charter in time. That's kind of the challenge of, of this, is just, you know, herding everyone together to make sure that we can get in the water and, and, and get the shots. Uh, I was trying to get some, uh little combination of photos and videos. I feel like I pulled off everything I was trying to do. I wanted to get some nice vertical shots so the sea lions come right up to the dome. And I, I think it turned out really good. Chaos down there, but really fun chaos. For Hewish, um, there are multiple uh, brands within the overarching company. And each brand has kind of a specific um, niche market. And so finding instances where you can get photos that kind of hone in on, on what, you know, the, the feel or the, the content of each individual brand. It's fun, but at the same time, it's kind of difficult. So at the end of this trip, we're gonna have shot a whole series of videos for Hollis Rebreathers. We're gonna have a ton of advertising content, marketing content, social media content for Bear Sports, Atomic Aquatics, Stalsack. So the thing about these trips is when you start stacking the shoots on top of each other, you just walk away with a tremendous amount of content. And that's really the beauty about these shoots is you get together, you work hard for a short time, and then you're able to really use that content for years to come afterwards. And that's what we've done on this trip. The best thing about hanging out with photographers uh, and working in the same environment is that you can share ideas, you can bounce ideas off each other, and you can really develop your own kind of practice together. It's a really creative environment. Uh, the other thing is that you can help each other. I was shooting some kind of product stuff. It was great to have three other people on hand to be able to help out. And not just have three people on hand, but three people who know what's going on, know the vision, and actually are really into being able to kind of uh, create that. A lot of the time when you're working with people, they don't understand that photography uh, really takes a lot of time and effort and thought. But when you're hanging out with, uh, with like-minded people, it's great because everyone knows you can get really good results by, uh, by hanging out together. There's apparently an amazing dive site up here called uh, Steep Island. Uh, in Discovery Passage where uh, it's really unique. There's just one of the only spots where you can find loads of uh, uh, tube worms. So we've got some pictures and some video and so on like that that we want to shoot up there. The last shots that we need for this uh, Hollis Prism 2 video series we're going to get on this dive. Um, we just want some more b-roll and cinematic footage to mix in with the rest of it and then we'll finish this Hollis Prism 2 series in the next month or two get it published 
We just want some marketing assets to use for social media and uh, catalogs and that kind of stuff. As a diver, you learn number one, never hold your breath. But in a photo, you never want to see bowls everywhere. So it's a matter of learning how to really just slow that breath down. Definitely a lot of thinking of my positioning. You never want to be touching anything, any type of life form, any of the ground, any of the rock ever. You want to be able to sit neutrally buoyant. You know, make sure your gear is straight. Sometimes I get lazy in my reg will hang out and my mask a little sideways and so it's just making everything uh, proper and helping them portray what they're wanting to see. So these shoots are a ton of work. You're usually working from pretty much the time you get up till the time you go to bed, between prepping for shoots, prepping your gear, shooting, downloading footage, editing footage, getting ready for the next day. So they're really long, full days. But they're also really fun, especially when you're with a bunch of your friends. It's the kind of work that I love and I enjoy a lot, but you sleep really well at nighttime. Since diving, I've gone to bed more nights of like my face hurting and I have to pull my cheeks down because I'm like, this is just the best life ever. And that's all because of diving and, and the people we meet. For someone else to be able to look into your world, look into your kind of uh, way of seeing things, your point of view, and enjoy it, for us, that's just absolutely everything. I'm really proud to have my, my photos used on different product catalogs and used on social media for the brands. It really, you know, says that I created a, a great image and it's just, it's a great way to get my content out there and show the world the, the beauty of, of Vancouver Island and Canada. It's always an amazing thing when people react positively to your work, you know, it's, you want everyone to like your, your stuff and you know, you know that's not going to happen with, with everyone. So when people do at least, you know, you feel like you're, uh, you're connecting with, with uh, some audience members and that's always, it just feels great. This is a program that I've been working on, on for a few years now and it's taken a little while to get all of the components aligned. And now that they're here, we're able to really demonstrate that through what we've done this last week, whether that's really talented photographers or videographers or drone people, and then bringing them all into one spot, doing a ton of hard work with a similar vision is really rewarding for me personally. It's kind of the epitome of what I want to do professionally, so it's really been a great week and all those components came together this time.